Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Sohail Abbasi from Merit Pros. Let's get started. Jenkins Credentials Provider. I'm going to give you a quick, uh, quick feedback here what it is. The, uh, the repository we are using, right? Whenever we try to create a new repository, let's say I'm going to create a new repository from here. Whether your repository is public or your repository is private. Right, by default it is public. What does it mean when I say public? Public simply means you are not going to use any credentials in order to access this particular repository. But at the same time, if you are providing it private, right, it means what? You need credentials, right? You choose who can see and commit to this repository. And then you provide the credentials right in the git repository so now everyone cannot access this repository only the people you are providing access to right these people are going to uh, access this particular repository and use this repository by default it is uh, but obvious that when you are providing a private repository here and when you are going to create uh, any repository at this point of time jenkins will also ask the same thing in your configure part if you go right Jenkins also asked the same thing here. If you see in the Git, Git right, Jenkins asked one thing. Jenkins says, what is the repository URL, right? Let's say I provided my repository URL is this one. This is my repository URL. Then Jenkins says, all right, do you want me to check, fail to connect the repository performing Git command, Git exe is remote, fine, no issues. You are saying credentials is none right now. But if your uh, repository is private, you have to click on this add option, go into the Jenkins, and then here you have to provide kind username with password, GitHub app, SSH username with private key, secret file, secret text, certificate, multiple types of usernames, domain, global credentials, unrestricted you can use. So username, password, ID, and description you can provide. If your repository is private, if it is public, you don't need to do it. If it is private, in most of the cases, we use public repositories until and unless your client uh, is highly concerned about the security and your data is highly confidential, right? In those cases only, you use private repositories. Otherwise, we all use public repositories every now and then. Remember, guys? So, obviously, I mean, if you're working in this part, you are not comfortable to provide the credentials or to add the credentials and then to assign the users. Obviously, the people from the senior management or technical side, right? let's say a technical architect or the person who is accountable to take care of the Jenkins jobs from DevOps team, right? These people take care of adding the credentials, providing the particular repositories, and they are going to decide whether this particular repository should be public or should be uh, private, right? So these all are the things they generally take care for you. Awareness for gen, uh, general uh, knowledge purpose, it is very important to know that how we can add the credential. So if someone asks, or if you come across an opportunity where you have to add the credentials, you can simply go ahead and add your credentials in your Jenkins from this command, right? So again, I'm repeating, click on add, go into the Jenkins. It is asked for Jenkins credentials provider. Select what kind of uh, credentials you're providing, whether it is SSH username, secret file, right? Like I said, uh, your accountable people will going to decide this. And then username with password, username, password, ID, description, all these things you can mention here. So it's all about adding the credentials in your repository. All right, guys. Let me just go back and keep it to none because I'm not going to use anything here. Apply and save the things in the Jenkins file. So this is my basic project. Thank you for watching this video. Hope the cover topics will help you in your career development and growth. See you in our next video.